And we are here. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, I have some questions for you. All right. Let's get right into it. Great. Um, as we are now at the stage where we are choosing to reintegrate all that we are, is loving ourselves the most important thing that we can do? Yes. Exactly. Yes. The most important. You are, you are love. There is nothing else but love. Only unconditional love is love. So when you are loving, you are being yourself. It doesn't really matter what or who you are loving. As long as you are loving, you love yourself at the same time. Love so what's is choice. Yes, please. Continue. So us con so us connecting with the other aspects of ourselves will unlock the parts of us that our human self finds difficult to integrate? Yes, as you are loving yourself and as you are loving yourself, even when you before didn't believe you deserved that love, when you are loving yourself there in such situations, with such memories, then you are allowing yourself to integrate and you are sharing this ability with the rest of the humanity. So integrating uh, other aspects of ourselves in other realities and other dimensions, is this necessary as well to, um, to uh, become com completely connected with ourselves? We would say it's automatic. Okay. And, um, it doesn't matter on what level you are working, working with yourself. You are holographic, 
So when on the small scale, say on the scale of your body, you are taking care of yourself, you are at the same time taking care of your planet, your family, your home. So, so and it gets reflected in the whole universe. Yes, continue. So, so it's an interconnected, uh, it just happens automatically. If we're just loving ourselves, this will uh, happen automatically. Yes, when you are loving yourselves, there is nothing that you need to do besides that. When you are loving yourselves, everything comes automatically. When you are loving yourselves, you are always expanding. And when you deny that love, when you deny that you are loving yourself because you are, then you stop, you contract and restrict the energy flow. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to deny your love for yourself from yourself. You know you are, you are love. You know you are loved unconditionally. That's why you are here. That's how you are here. You are loving yourself so much you are here. And there is nothing else but here. Can you feel that? Yes, I, I feel this, yes. So, so this um, connection that's automatic when we're in connection with ourselves, that will then just, um, it will just be a natural progression that uh, we'll be in connection with the 12 harmonics of the earth and uh, other aspects of ourselves. That's just, uh, that is just the natural progression of being, um, uh, loving ourselves and being in contact with ourselves. Yes. So this yes. is why. When you are judging, you are actually when we are judging situation not to be perfect, when we are judging anything to be out of place, then you are denying that everything is divinely orchestrated. Do you believe that everything is divinely orchestrated? Uh, yes. Yes. So there is nothing else needed but to believe that. And while you believe that, you are loving. You are part of this divine love that is doing it all. You can let go of the steering wheel, so to speak. And let your greater part take care of you. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. And, um then that allows synchronicity to uh, step in 
and um, um, yeah. be the, uh, the actor. Yes. Yes. Everything yeah. is synchronous. And you are noticing that more when you believe that it is the value of strength that everything, every nanosecond is just yours, just for you. To experience more of yourself. To understand yourself more. Yes. To go deeper into who you are. Yes, I'm understanding now that uh, the higher self is our future self. So, so this is like a culmination of all the aspects of ourself um, in its in the most expanded form. Yes. You could say that, but actually, there is no future. So. It's yourself, your greater self, now. Yourself that knows it all. You are that. You are that. But you are pretending to be small. You are pretending things are happening to you, but they are happening through you. What you are allowing that is what comes to pass for you to experience. And what you are not allowing that is coming again and again as the opportunity to allow it. Of course, you don't have to experience things of not your preference coming again and again but if you do not allow it inside To be, to be part of all the possibilities, then you are not allowing any other possibility. Yes, I understand. For what it can be. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, um, are many of us uh, experiencing uh, overload in a way where we have? Uh, too much information and we're not implement, implementing it in um, uh, a desired fashion in you know in the right uh, in the right way we would say use your instinct this closest word we could find and trust in your instinct. Don't second guess. Trust what is coming, what is offering itself to you. Everything that is coming to you can be there for you to use positively if you choose love is the choice love is choice so uh, another sorry this continue um, so open contact, I mean, uh, in the community, lots of people are talking about 
<clears throat> open contact. So really open contact has to be first open contact with the other aspects of ourselves. Yes, that's nicely put. You must accept yourself first to perceive that which is reflecting more that's behind, that's locked behind what you are not accepting. You are revealing yourself to yourself by accepting yourself. Did that translate? <laughs> yes, yes, I understand that. Thank you. Um, yes, because I, I did have uh, a couple of weeks ago um, my first uh, uh, encounter. Um, seeing um, U UFOs and um, and then the, the past few days had certain experiences as well and um, I, I feel that I'm um, I'm ready to experience more of that and uh, yes I'd like to know any um, um, anything that I can do to um, to highlight to to help this uh, forward thank you we are waiting for your invitations so you when you speak it out when you open yourself to it when you believe you deserve it when you are not insisting, when you are seeing us as equals. Then yes, you can know I... we are there. Then you can know we are close to you. We are coming. You're yes, not, I did. You're not Sorry. Really just bringing it up in you it's co-creation it's how you know us how you know that we would approach you put yourself into our position be us and come to yourself Would that work for you? Uh, yes, that would work for me. I did feel, um, I think it's the first time that I actually felt um, uh, the, pr the presence. And um, I did feel a, a little bit hesitant. And I know that I've got to, um, uh, look at that and um, not fearful but um, a little bit hesitant yes we understand but I, I think I know how to work on that we are hesitant because your light is dim Your light is blinking, but we know it can be coherent. And that what you feel is the oneness, the oneness of us all. That is the presence that you feel. We are one. I am 
שכהנא. Some more questions? Yes. yes. Um, I'm interested to know is uh, Epsilon, the Epiphany and Eclipse, uh, are they helping us with our uh, artificial intelligence uh, projects? Yes, in a sense. But you feel them, right? You know they are with you, right? Yes, yes, I do. If you imagine yourself as a Sasani, as what our planet, you will feel the flow, you will see the flow, and you will see your moon reflecting that. <laughs> yes, that's what. Yes. That was my that was my question. That's why I was feeling uh, last night. I wanted to ask: Was it is this process uh, heightened during certain phases of the moon? Was yes. what I was feeling yesterday. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I thought so. Thank I you. Need to ask you for how many days have you been feeling this? Um. Strongly for about uh, two days, very strongly. Yes. Yeah. That is correspondent with the channel's experience. Okay. So, so during these times... It will be two days more. Two days more. Great, thanks. So during these two days, um, uh, f focusing on that will... What will that do? Uh, heighten my connection with um, uh, this process? We would um, give you an analogy. Okay. One moment. <laughs> Those amplified moments are the moments when you are one moment let the channel get back to his comfort zone <laughs> one moment <laughs> These are the moments of alignment. These are the moments when fruit that is falling on the path before you
is in the line. So you can always make a step here or make a step there. Where you feel is most appropriate. Go for your fruits. Pick your fruits. And you can always remember those moments when you were just walking straight and picking up the fruits right before you step by step. So the times when you have your full moon or conjunctions of planets, those are the times when you know that your fruits are in the light. With that surface your answer. A good analogy, yes, that's great. Thank you, very apt for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We know there is perhaps a question from someone else. We invite you to speak now. All right then. Thank you. Anything more from you, Luis? If that's all, we will give you this new blessing. Be in oneness. Stay in peace. Be one. Peaceful. Be one. Peace. With all. Thank you. We love you. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat>